Hey guys, it's Danny, Danny the Horse Girl, and today I'm going to be doing morning chores in the Big Martin Little Barn, and then I want my mom's chickens. So, let's go. So this is my mom's new chicken coop. It's like brand new, and she has the chickies. The pigs, so they are down there. Where's Chuck go? There he is. So they are down there, and they are giant. Most of the stuff that we feed our animals on the farm is organic, and well, we all we all love like organic, healthy foods on my farm, like. Me, Gwen, and Isabel, we don't really like a bunch of candy or stuff. We'd rather eat fruits and vegetables. Like, that's literally just how we are. Like, we'd rather eat that. So, being able to grow up on an organic farm is really awesome. goat and then the big one is her mom's goat and they are named Lucy and Daisy. If you follow me on Instagram then you can see that Lucy hates getting her feet trimmed. She just flops right over <laughs> and just lets me like she lays down on Gwen and lets me trim her feet. It's really funny. But Gwen is learning how to trim goat's feet. It was actually my first time trimming goat's feet and I, I think I did good. So I need to throw down two bales of hay. And then I'm gonna throw them down in here. Here's Jewel. They don't look that tall really, but they're taller than the ponies. So that is very impressive. Hi baby, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Bring those people. Hey Jewel. I love everything to do with it. What you do, don't you? And Jewel, she loves. <laughs> She's a little shy still, but that's okay. Amazing.
Okay guys, you think we're dying? Oh my goodness. So, I know you guys already know him, but this is Chuck, he's my Yorkie. And I One love of him. them. He had a visit with me every night. He loves his blue jackets, and his sweatshirts. Unlike Blair, who was a traitor, and she ran over to my mom. And <laughs> I want lights. I got him. She was a traitor and she ran over to my mom and she didn't tell with me and she hates jackets. But Chuck is the opposite. He loves me and he loves jackets. He loves tattoos. He loves to play. And he's not even a year old yet. As you can see, there is no pen where the cows used to be. We took that down and we are going to make it into a goat pen for Gwen's goats. And then. Um, there's a few and then, so this is gonna be Gwen's go pen, and then, or like anything else you need. <laughs> Chuck, stop it. Do not do that. And then this is going to be where we are putting the babies while they are getting weaned. So we took down all the old fencing. It was pretty, it wasn't the best fence at, at all anymore. So we put in this nice new fence in. Really nice. This is what I have at my goat barn. My barn. They're gonna come in here in like November, December time. Most likely like November, December. I don't know. I don't take my word on it. So was, these are Chrissy's chickens and I would have to let them out book one or anything. And so, they are all in here. Well, they you, were all in here until Chuck got to them. Chuck! No! And these are her chickies. Here are more of her babies and chickies. She has about 50 chickens right now. She has a ton. Anywhere you go in this barn, you'll find chickens. I'm just farming. Hi, cows! Hi, cows! Here are her cows. Uh, cows so I don't have a cow right now I'm gonna get my cow in November my steer my forage steer and I don't know if I'm going to get one with Simon's full brother which is a darker red than Ruger or if I want to get a full black one and his eyes kind of look like pandas and he's super cute so I don't know what I'm gonna go for I'm probably gonna go for Simon's brother but I don't know but this pen right here is the pen that Penelope and Fauna were in, which they're right there. They're very friendly. They were in there, but then we moved them. So we put up this fence going across there. This fence that's right there. We put that up. And then we put the big horses on that side so they can get to all of their places and their um, pens. And then, um, we put the cows back here so we don't have to deal with them up there in one big spot. So I'm really happy about that. I'm excited to come. Whenever I come in here, I can't leave because I just cuddle. <laughs> I love cows. I used to like hate cows. I was terrified of them. But now we just like love me. So with cows, they do not pick back. So like right here, I'd be safe with Penny kind of because they do not kick back, they kick out. So right here isn't the safest spot to be with a cow, but I trust our cows and I'm sure she won't kick me. Like I trust our cows. Like, and also right here is not the safest spot unless like it's a good trained cow because they can go in and ram you with their horns and she's scurse. But I'm not really again, not really afraid of our cows. I don't think anything will happen. I've gotten kicked by Ruger when he was a baby, but I just don't think he really liked me then. <laughs> and um, when I was running around with them this fall, um, she kicked out at me, but that was just like, whoa, we're going. And so her, Kimmy, and Ruger, they all came from Colorado. And um, the people, the person, the, well, the person that we get 
our steers from and our meat, like our um, meat breeds of cattle from, our meat cattle, wow, I could not get that out, our meat cattle from, um, he lives in Wyoming now and he has this super big ranch in Wyoming. So I'm excited to go there and check it out and get my cow. And then not this year, but next year when we go out there to get cows, I am going to get a heifer and then I'm going to breed her and I'm going to have babies and they're gonna be so cute. And there's a thing that's kind of weird. Like an exact year ago almost, last year, I hated cows other than Penny. Hated them, I was terrified of them. Like, I did not want to do have anything with them. Like, I hate them. Well, I hated them. But now, I just love cuddling them. Like, I'll go up to any random cow and I love you. <laughs> I love cows. But like, a year ago, I hated them. That's what cows did to me. <laughs> so, if you have, like, a fear of an animal, I'd recommend just going out and getting one. They like, at first they scare you, but then once you start working with them and stuff, you don't really get really afraid of them anymore. You're just like, I love you. I love you so much, I want to get more. <laughs> they don't get out, again, again. my video for this week make sure you like share and subscribe check out my instagram at underscore dmware and see you guys next week bye